Hello, beautiful people. It has been quite some time, but I think I might be back, but I make no promises because you got one life and you make the most of it. So I have missed you. I am happy to be holding the camera. It feels slightly foreign, but we're gonna pick up like we've never missed each other. Although I've missed you terribly. So yeah, it's the weekend. I have had a busy yet successful week and I am feeling good and just getting back from Whole Foods and Target and we're gonna do some fall decorating together. I have already pulled a bunch of my fall decorations. I don't think this is all of them. I think I'm actually missing two more orange bins but they might be more Halloween focused but I have my fall decorations pulled up. It is kind of a very overcast day today and it looks like it's going to rain. So we pulled our ferns out to get them watered, but yeah, very, very overcast day. We need to get groceries in and I'm actually going to cook a couple meals today as well. So we're gonna prep some turkey meatballs and homemade sauce for um, uh, meatball hoagies and salad one night. We're gonna prep a beef stew, and I might even at least prep everything for chicken fajitas one night this week. What did we pick up at Whole Foods? We got some salad mix, some tomatoes, some arugula and clover sprouts, some cucumbers, some cheese sticks and cheese, some beef stock for our beef stew, pre-made meals. This is a vegetable lo mein and a general so's chicken. Some peanut sauce and their light ranch dressing. Some mozzarella cheese, peppers, their maple, maple, they are maple almond butter pretzels, tortillas, and potatoes. Then I got four lunches this week. I did a really poor job, and I've been doing so well of um, prepping my lunches. So I did a couple things to remedy that. I got us some of the lesser evil popcorns that we love. I have, uh, if you have never had the Whole Foods Walnut Brownies, A, they last forever because like a quarter of one with a glass of good red wine, delicious. I got some beef stew meat and then some chicken to easily cut up and ground turkey. This is my favorite hummus, the 365 jalapeno hummus. I grabbed us a loaf of bread, a fresh sourdough. I cut it while I was there. Um, some eggs that I need. Some celery. Some tomato, tomatoes. Those are carrots and bell peppers. So that's kind of our grocery haul for the week. I'm gonna make a couple meals out of all of that. Then I also ran to Target because uh, as we do some fall refreshing, I wanted to grab a couple of things. So I grabbed this tray. Also fell in love with this picture because I want to switch out the flowers on the coffee station. So I thought this was a pretty autumnal one. I got some read diffusers for my office at work, but these little glass pumpkins are super cute. And I wanted to grab a couple of those to set those around. They light up, they're adorable. I also really enjoyed the colors of them. And last weekend, I had picked up a few, um, you can see them up there. Oh wait! You guys haven't seen the kitchen. 
And you're probably like, it doesn't look that different, but I can show you how different it actually is. It, the paint is really hard to pick up in um, certain lights, but if you look here, that was the color of our cabinets, like that very white white. So like when you see them like this, also against like the taupe wall, you can see how dark they actually are. So they all got redone. We did gold hardware on them. My countertops, I haven't decided what we're doing yet with them, but I actually very much like them uh, because this, the starkness of the white cabinets no longer hits it and I actually really like it. And then this is our hand glaze tile. There are certain times like you can really catch it right now. You could see all the texture from them and you can also see that they're all different colors because they are all hand glazed. We originally had them horizontally stacked and when our tile gig came and we were playing with them, I was like, let's go vertical. And I'm so glad we did. We tiled the whole way up behind all of that, but we love it. We love it so, so much. And then while we had him here, we also, pardon, things are a mess. Mabel was running around this morning, but we're gonna deep clean and do all the things. We also had him retile our fireplace and he did such a wonderful job. Once again, we did the vertical stack, but we are so happy with it. And I just love how the tiles have like this texture and different colors to them. And obviously things have been restyled a little differently. We can talk through that as we decorate, but yeah, could not, could not be happier with how this is turning out. All right, I need to get this stuff away and then we will start prepping the beef stew and I might actually even prep the meatballs and get those in the oven now, um, just so they're out of the way. I have my beef stew just patting dry with some paper towels. I bought these little mini potatoes, so I'm just gonna toss those in there. This is gonna be the simplest dinner. Now, this is controversial. I don't peel my carrots. I scrub them really, really well and make sure they're clean. I do obviously cut off the ends, but I just like rustically chop them up. I'll show you as soon as I'm done. I just give them a second wash in my sink after I cut them, just to make sure they're really good and clean. I just find it so much easier, A, but also I like the look of it better. I do this when I'm roasting carrots or anything. I just keep it a little bit simpler. Now I'm just going to chop up some quick celery, throw my beef in there, some beef stock, and then I am gonna cheat today and use a spice mix from McCormick, just the beef stew mix. But I'm gonna let that go on high for a couple hours, give it a couple stirs, call it a day. And that is one meal prepped. Chopped up my celery, once again, just in big chunks. I won't eat the cooked celery, but Stephen might. I'm really just using it for flavor. I threw in a shallot, a clove of garlic, chopped up, one box of stock, the seasoning, lid on, just going to let that cook all day. And dinner for that is, t this will be dinner tonight. And now I'm going to quickly prep the turkey meatballs. I have my oven preheating. So I am getting my sauce started for the meatballs. I don't buy jarred sauce because it's just so much easier to make your own. Plus Stephen and I both will always say it tastes better. I start everything in my olive oil. For all the true Italians, don't judge me. I have three cloves of minced garlic, olive oil, crushed red pepper. I love oregano. So I have, let me turn this on. I have a lot of oregano in there. A little bit of dried parsley. I think that's really it. Now, I usually use the whole um, San Marzano tomatoes and crush them. I'm using what I have, so I happen to have hand crushed San Marzano's with basil in it. I actually think I did have a can of whole ones. I have these. Uh, I already opened that one. We're gonna use it. And I only need one can for the meatballs anyway. So I get this going and then we'll whip up the meatballs really quickly. I just like to 
cook my seasonings and like get everything infused in the olive oil. I'm gonna throw this in here and then give this a good stir. But then to just cut the acid of the tomatoes, I'm gonna add like a tablespoon of just some white sugar. I have this on my lowest heat setting. And then what's great about this container is I will probably throw it all in the oven because I'll put the meatballs in there eventually uh, to finish cooking after I brown them in the oven a little bit. And then when I get home, I will just throw this whole cast iron La Crusade in the oven when it's dinner and we'll be ready to go. I have some oregano and parsley from our garden that's doing so well. Maybe we'll go out there today. Whatever I don't use, I'm literally just gonna plop that in there. All right, we're gonna add an egg. Are you impressed that I just cracked that with one hand? Because I am. And then I'm going to grab some garlic powder and onion powder after I wash my hands. I'm not quite done, but here's a trick. Especially with turkey meatballs, they will dry out quickly. I'm gonna get about 11 or 12 out of that one pound of turkey, but when you bake them in the oven, if that's where you're going to brown them, keep them all touching. It holds their liquid in so they stay really nice and moist. It truly, truly works. Make sure they're just touching. It'll keep them good. Especially turkey, it'll dry out. I'm gonna roll these last couple, but I'm gonna get about it 11 to 12, which is way more than we need. I can actually take a few for lunches as well. So, tip and trick. While my meatballs were going, I decided to just hurry up and cut up all the bell peppers I bought and the celery and the tomatoes. Um, the tomatoes, why? I keep calling carrots tomatoes today. Um, these containers are amazing. They keep things fresh for so long. They're from Amazon, I will link them, but they are just fabulous. So all of my celery for snacking, all of my carrots, my bell peppers, and my, um, well, yeah, my bell peppers, my celery, and my carrots are all chopped and ready, so that's done. And then when I make my fajitas, I can just grab some out of there, and I don't have to think about it. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, no, these don't need prepped. These will just be fine, just the way they are. Um, beautiful. Sauce is done. It looks so good. I turned it off for now until the, um, Meatballs are done. But I'm just gonna get this all taken care of and cleaned up, and we're in a good spot. My hair is a mess because I took off my hat and I've been wearing it all morning. I set a timer as I carried the groceries into the house. So from unpacking everything to prepping essentially almost three meals. I mean, with those fajitas, I'm gonna throw the peppers in now that they're cut with the chicken that's already pre-cut, cook off all of it, season it, done. It'll be so quick. I have essentially three dinners prepped and like snacks for lunch prepped, 62 minutes. So it is worth it to get it out of the way now and know that that is off my plate. So I went ahead and I wiped down my coffee bar. I don't do like a ton, but just like switching out a couple things. So those glass pumpkins I picked up at the dollar section, they were $3 a piece. I just added those in. I changed out my greenery and this one for something more fall. And then in here, Oh, that one's not supposed to be there. <laughs> and then in here, I just put this pumpkin on this stack. I nested one on that um, candlestick, and then I have one up there and just subbed out one of the creamers that was there. So that's really it. I added that fall tree picture behind here instead of the flowers, but like, it's a touch. And it's all that I want in this section. I think what I really wanna focus on is getting the living room like deep cleaned a bit and getting some styling happening in here. I think like that's my main goal. I need to like style the coffee table. I need to fix the pillows before Mabel gets back um, and do the fireplace. So let's go ahead and dive into those things. I have these beautiful, beautiful stems from a floral and they go in my our house 
um, vase that's on my island. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I don't mind this swag so far. So I'm gonna now start layering. I think I'm gonna use both of them to make it really full. I'm gonna layer that in. All right, let me keep playing. <laughs> Look who is home. She's looking for Steven. Where, what's going on? What's going on? Is it decorating? Say hi to everyone. Oh. She will follow window to window. Um, oh, also, Bubby is here. He really can't hear anymore. He went for a good walk, though. Bubba. Bubba. Bubby. Hey, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Hey. Bubba. Hi, Bobbies. Hi. Hi. All right. So I have been playing with this and added some ferns into it just because I wanted some level of greenery into it. But now that I'm looking at it, I think I just want it to be the garland and I'm going to take these off and I can find somewhere else to use them, but I'm not loving them. So let me rip those down and see how I feel. So my friends, it's all about the edit. I love this so much more. I added one more of those pumpkins into the scene, but with the candles lit, I really, really like it. I also had these, which were the perfect color. So I just tucked those in as well. You can see how like pretty and full it is, but still like simple, which I like. All right, I think I wanna pull the idea of the wicker pumpkins over. And I have these on the table over there that I might bring onto the entertainment center or the media stand. I'm not sure yet. I just have like stuff everywhere right now. This is kind of my process. I just kind of have everything out. And like I said, I don't wanna like over, overdo it. All right. Let me get this all wiped down because as I'm going, I'm deep cleaning. If I can get this table done, this done, entry dining room done, I just have like a few little accessories I want to put in the kitchen. And like this here, I feel like that's a good start. This is a breeze to do because the only thing, I've had these for years now and I love fall when I can get them out. <laughs> The only thing I change out in this cabinet, also, like the colors of my house lend themselves to fall. Oh, this is still my favorite. I need to find out, I need to look Maya up. A subscriber painted this. I would love to get one of Mabel so that we have both dogs. Maya, if you happen to watch this, message me in some way. All right, so the only thing I do now is I switch out this dog for a gold squirrel. I put the other one right here. And that's all I do to this cabinet every year for fall. But it's all that you need. So I sub out the dog and I put in the gold squirrels. Everything else kind of already, already goes. This was actually quite easy. I ended up, because I want to echo like the wicker pumpkins here. I had these three that I love. So I just added those on to the TV stand. I literally changed nothing here. Fall is like the easiest time of year for me to decorate because our scheme just goes with it already. Great idea that these have big holes in them where we could light them at night and have the light shine through. So Steven is going to run to Home Depot and find us lights to put in them. There's Steven, by the way. He's doing well. Hi. Both doggies are spent. She's become a swimmer. If you watch my Instagram, you watch her swimming. Mabel. Hi, you look so pretty. She swam, but then she ran, she ran herself dry. So now she's she's all grown up. He's very... He, just likes to, he, just likes to he is very grown up. He just likes to lie on the beach. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to now get the dining room, the coffee table styled. I think I'm gonna use one of them over here as well. Once again, I don't 
feel like this will have to change up too much, but we'll figure out something. This is not it though. This is not going here. All right, let me continue to mess. Actually, I might use these in that bowl. That's what we might do. All right, let me get this all cleaned up. I mean, at the end of the day, I didn't change anything. Those strands were too busy. I just, I like how simple and I just, yeah. So essentially all that I switched out was the gold bowl for another one of those pumpkins. I think those are from Michael's. They were a steal, so it's simple. I finally straightened up the pillows that Mabel had everywhere. And then I also had these corn husks that I just threw in this bowl. That's where those will go. And then we're gonna do like a little accessorizing around the kitchen. I think I'm gonna lean up these cutting boards a few places. But other than that, we're in a good spot. Still need to figure out if I wanna do anything to that table. It might not, I don't know yet. I will update you on a couple things. We got lights for the pumpkins. I wanna see how they look at night. I don't know if I'm sold on those or if I'm gonna do like a flicker tea light. I have both options now thanks to Steven. Table, I kept it really simple. Um, let me take you into the entryway. I'm also not set on the wreath that I used here. I love everything else. I filled these with some wicker pumpkins I used last year the baskets down there and I love how that looks. And I have a candle in this glass pumpkin so that's going to look so nice. I'm just not sold. I think I might want something more muted but now seeing it, I might actually really like it. I haven't decided. Dining room, I mean, I really didn't do anything. I threw a pumpkin on that stand. It just is a paper mache pumpkin. And then here across from the pantry, I have these little like Dutch ovens that are a beautiful fall color. I did those in my pantry. Just two more of those paper mache pumpkins and then I also switched out the florals in that pot. Then in my kitchen, I took those trays and I layered them and then set in some of the glass pumpkins. So there's one of the plaid ones, one of the striped ones is back here with one of the pumpkins. I put a plaid one over there. And then I have some glass pumpkins in here and those are all lit. So I will light those a little bit later. But yeah, that is our little bit of our fall like refresh. My floors are all clean, the dogs are done, the stew is almost done. And yeah, I kind of had a reset for the day which was definitely, definitely needed.